Good morning. Um, my name is Fatima Denton. I'm the um, director of the United Nations University Institute for Natural Resources um, in Africa, which is UNU Indra, based in Ghana, uh, with an Africa-wide mandate um, to support the management of natural resources. Um, in this um, conference, I would like to focus on a few, I think, compelling issues that are related to land and implications for um, um, what are some of the implications of land management and how that intersects with climate change, um, the aspects of climate related injustices that we're seeing um, as a result of our model of um, um, extractive. Um, extracting um, in, in terms of our economies um, and how that is also um, affecting our, our land and how it's affecting our food security and our food systems. Um, first, I would like to say um, land is, um, is, a, is a price commodity, but it, more than that, land is, um, it, it, it is, is essential. It's essential for human survival. Um, land is about, it's about us, it's about our identity. Uh, but land is increasingly under threat because land is degraded and uh, that degradation is um, causing a lot of hardship um, for people across the globe, especially people who are land dependent in Africa. Um, and that with the, the stressor of climate change, which is now almost like a perennial one, because it, it's, it seems like it's here to stay, uh, that pressure is also affecting uh, food security. It's affecting um, people's um, ability to earn a living. Um, and it also means that um, developed nations and developing countries need to come together um, to find solutions um, in terms of how this is managed. Um, the solutions are not easy. They are often very um, complex, uh, very difficult because we are talking essentially about um, historical emissions. Um, people in the global south um, are bearing the um, externalities of climate change and that has implications also um, on their economies. Um, it has implications on the strategies they want to use um, to manage land. Um, so what I think is essential in this conference is to lay out that there are historical emissions that we cannot deny. Those historical emissions have got, um, I'd say, um, they've got links um, to our food systems. They've got links to our, um, our strategies for adaptation and, man and, and mitigation. Um, and we have to think about all of these different links and, and basically see how we can um, make sense of them. But, but more than that, I think it's also important to say that it means that we have to think about ways of um, designing solutions out of this. Um, the, climate, the climate finance um, aspect um, is essential. Um, right now, it's really skewed against um, developing countries. Um, the management of land, the management of climate change, being, I mean, be it adaptation or mitigation, have got serious um, financial, is placing serious financial burdens, I'd say, on developing countries. Um, that, that, that burden, that responsibility is not, is, is not shared by all. Um, and yet we have a global architecture that says, you know, we're all in this together. So if we're all in this together, it means that those that have, done nothing to be in this scenario need to be giving some of the tools and the resources so that they can also get themselves out of it, um, but also begin to build a shared, um, you know, um, growth and prosperity for their people. So those are some of the issues I'd like to talk about. Um, I, I know that these might have implications also for other, um, other things that we want to do uh, related to um, green minerals, for instance, how that is managed, because that is something that is also very important. We want to go towards renewable energy, but that might also have um, um, implications for land and land management. You know, so how do we look forward to the future, but at the same time address some of the more structural problems that we see um, that are some some of them are foisted on us, but some of them are things that we can we can address and we can solve. 
So that is um, uh, the essence of um, um, what I would like to say um, in my um, conversation um, on this very important conference. Thank you.